Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with a really domestic name. At least I think it's pretty domestic. Or maybe the animal in the book that I'm going to read could be domestic. Perhaps. I got my sleepy doggy. This is now my nephew with one of his first stuffed animals. I'm going to go ahead and grate your ears with the not so terrific stylings of my recorder for our checklist. Here we go. It's time for the checklist. It's time for the checklist. Time for the checklist. It's time for the checklist just like this. Woo, thank you, thank you. Put it down, put it down. All right, boys. Well, let's get into it. Did you guys have a great day today? I had a pretty fine day myself. Check. How was your dinner? Are your bellies all full and satisfied? Check. What did you talk about with your family? Did you have a discussion, a chat, a powwow, a gathering, a meeting of the minds? Check. How about that homework? Or that academic... Um, Upkeep. I don't know. Because, you know, school's out. See, I'm not thinking about homework. Still do a little bit anyway. Okay? Check. What about those chores, boys and girls? Teamwork makes the dream work. Have you helped out around the house today? Did you clean up, clean up? Check. Oh, man. Did you do something fun and exciting today? To make your day awesome? Check. Now, after all that said and done, have you picked out your PJs? Or are you already wearing them? Maybe you already finished your checklist, but get your favorite PJs. Check. Pick out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow so you don't have to do it in the morning. Give you a little more time to sleep in. For those of you that sleep in simply because you don't have to go to school, check. Did you take a bath or a shower? Are you all fresh and clean? Check. How about drying off with your towel and putting on lotions that your uh, skin's all soft and smooth? Check. Did you brush your teeth? Are they shiny and white? Check. Did you also floss your teeth? And then after flossing your teeth, gargle and rinse out your mouth with some mouthwash? Check. How about those ears? Do you clean those ears and nostrils if you need to? You need to clean out your nostrils. Check. And your hair, get your hair washed, combed, brushed, greased, oiled, tied up, wrapped up, whatever you need to do for your hair. I don't have much. Check. Oh, let's see what else. Did you take your last pee or poop so that when you get in bed, you don't have to worry about getting up in the middle of the night if you don't have to? Check. All right. What else? What else? What else? Hmm. Did you turn on your night light so you can see if you do need to get up at night? Check. How about those bedrooms? Are your bedrooms already clean? You gotta clean those bedrooms. Don't go to bed with a messy bedroom. Don't do it. Check. Did you read a story? Or did someone read a story to you, like I'm about to do right now, after the checklist? Check. Oh, let's see what else. Did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches? To your family members, your pets that live with you, and any friends or other relatives that might be visiting, show everybody love, okay? Check. Now, got your cuddle buddies ready? Are you in bed? Check. And if that's the case, have you said your prayers? If you did not say your prayers, make sure you say your prayers before you drift off into dreamland. Check. 
Oh yeah, it's time for a story. Here we go. And the dog's sleeping. I'm just going to lay him on my lap because he sleeps. Woo, this story is entitled Cow. Now, are cows domestic animals? Woo, I like the back cover of the book too. It's like a pretty little, if you're standing in the field and there's trees and then you can see between the trees to the clouds. All right, well, I also like this inside cover too. Don't mind the sticker as to when I need to return the book to the library. But that's a nice sky picture. All right, this is the book called Cow, and it's by Malaki Doyle, illustrated by Angelo Rinaldi. And if I'm saying the name wrong, sorry. You know, I'm terrible with these names. Ah, all right, Cow. Grazing in the field on a hot summer day. Yeah, today was a hot summer day for us as well. That rain came through right at the end of the day, like right around 9 o'clock. Early morning, dawn is breaking, the first bird sings. And the farmer strolls down the lane whistling. I gotta start whistling more. My whistle is kind of low. Oh man. Hmm. Slowly, you rise from the sudden grass. Your thick coat wet with morning dew. Big and heavy, you amble to the gate. Full udders swinging between your legs. This is describing the cow, huh? And you know the cows give us wonderful milk, right? Yes, they do. I'm going to bring my whistle together. Past the sheep resting in their field, the pigs dozing in their pens, the gander keeping guard, and the farmhouse where the children sleep. All those cows are on the move. Boy, my whistle sure is low. Your hooves click on the floor of the yard. The gate opens and you enter the stall. Yeah, I had to work on that because it was kind of lame earlier. Food drops in front of you, and you've been to eat. Gently, the farmer cleans your udders and puts tubes on your teeth. Milk is sucked out, rich, warm, creamy milk. Well, this is descriptive of how we milk cows, how the farmers do it, and how it all ends up in those freezers and those refrigerators at the grocery store. Then you wander, wander back to the field, Past the house where the children are rising, past the coop where the chicken are laying. Eggs, that is. Chickens laying eggs. Chickens laying eggs. You tear the grass and chew the cud, rolling your mouth from side to side, pushing the food with your thick, wet tongue over and over for hours. Boy, there's a beautiful picture. There's the cow eating his grass. Oh, yeah. The school bus comes for the children. The tanker arrives for the milk. And slowly the morning passes. That's pretty cool. The day warms up and your breath comes hot and heavy from your broad wet nose. You wander down to the river and take a long drink of the cool clear water because you're thirsty. 
I hope you guys had water today. I know I drank a lot of water. It was hot, I'm telling you. As the midday sun blazes, you rest in the shade of the oak tree and close your deep, dark eyes. Your ears twitch to clear the flies from your face. You swish them from your back with a long, bushy tail. Okay, those tails coming in. Get them flies off of them. Yes, cow. And be having all the flies on you. The hot afternoon drags on and the bus returns. The children come to swing from the tree and over the river and splash into the river. Now that seems like fun. Yes, because it's hot. We need to get in some water somewhere. Some water. Later you wait by the gate to be first in line. Your milk full udders aching. Aww. Because they like this milk needs to come out. And I don't have my baby calves. So they're going to have to hook them up again so they can pump the milk out. Because that's what they do. Lowing deeply as the farmer appears. Pressing forward to the cool parlor at last. There they go. On the move. Cow. Yes, indeed. You're back in the field. The sun has gone. The flies have flown. And the long, hot day draws to an end. Would you look up there? And that's a, a day in the life of a cow, huh? You graze, you chew, and you rest. It's hard work being a cow. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could be a cow. Could you guys be a cow, boys and girls? I don't know. I don't think I could handle that. Mm -hmm. So at the end, at the back of the book, it looks like the night sky with twinkle stars in it. That is the end of tonight's story. What do you think? What do you think about the life of a cow, huh? Now you know a little bit about what their days are like. Well, boys and girls, it's that time. You completed everything on your checklist. And you said your prayers. So get comfy and cozy, snug as a bug in the rug, tucked in tight. Not too tight, though, because it's kind of hot. I hope your fan is blowing or the air condition is cooling the house and your windows open. Whatever the case may be, it's time for dreams. So... You know what you got to do. Close your eyes and whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Just work that story on out and allow your body to drift off to sleep. Hopefully right in the middle of your whispering of what you'd like to dream about. huh? That's the best way. Just go right to sleep and dream that special dream. All right, boys and girls, get to it. Me and my doggy are going now. Bye-bye.